Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal Guys. My name is Joseph. Today we're gonna do an Orbit Culture reaction slash review of their new EP Shaman. Now the only two songs I'm not gonna be doing a reaction to on this particular video is Carvings and Flight Over the Fireflies because I actually already did those previous uh, reactions on this channel which I'm gonna link down below for those who are interested and haven't seen those. And I'm just going to listen to the three other songs that are left over in this album. And then we're going to review it right at the end. And I'll make sure this timestamp for you so you know exactly which part, which video, which song you want to see. So that you're not wasting your time. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. If you're new to this channel, you know, I can be critical. But I'm always polite in my criticism of any band. But so far, both the songs that I heard, I really, really like from Orbit Culture. So I don't imagine it being any different with these three other songs. Starting with the first song, The Mast of the World. Let's get on. Make sure we got the volume up. By the way, I really I'm gonna rewind it a little bit so I, I make sure I get everything. I really like that cover. That's a dope ass cover. Uh, by the way, also sorry to all the fans of the last video, Flight of the Fireflies, their reaction to. I said uh, that they are from Finland, or I, I assumed they were from Finland, but they are from Sweden. I want to make sure on the video that I correct myself. Uh, yes, they are from Sweden. They're awesome. Let's get into it. It's so far present in every single song that I've heard from them. They have this, I don't know, their sound, I would say it's pretty unique. Um, they have this kind of like a, a ministry, industrial metal sound almost to some of their even drumming and guitar work and just has this kind of maybe it's post-production and makes it sound very metallic. And then they have this very old school death metal vibe at the same time. And it's just this very weird, interesting mix of things, which if you told me on paper, I probably would have said, ah, I'm not going to get into this kind of stuff. I don't like when they mix techno and metal, but in reality it sounds so fucking good. And it's like, I'm not just saying techno, but like has this electronic or metallic elements to it. I need to rewind that. I like that symphony organ kind of coming in and switching up the song. They're actually quite playful with their layering and elements in their songs. Uh, I remember listening to Carvings in the beginning and I kind of, I wasn't convinced as I was listening to the song, but for some reason they're like, they're the simplicity of it first didn't strike me. But as it went on and then as it evolved the song itself, I was like, wow, okay, I get the meaning like the kind of the thinking behind it and i was digging it by the end and flight of the fireflies uh just captured me right from the beginning as this song actually i really like their style and from my experience the ones i've seen swedish death metal tends to be very heavy and i really like that about them i like the aggressiveness in their music which is no different here <laughs>
they're doing something that some of my favorite bands do uh like bolt thrower bolt thrower is my probably my favorite death metal band if i have to say out of death metal for sure my favorite death metal band where they are in my top 10 i think i'll do like a more of a podcast episode to talk about what are my top 10 favorite bands of all time and i really like this idea where the song is not overly like they're not focusing on thousands of progressions and thousands of different riffs it focuses and kind of simplifies its music like both are over there very well they would simplify their music to very addictive and very uh just absolutely raw riffs and drumming patterns and of course there'll be switches like i've heard in a couple songs there's nice switches to give variety to each song and flavor but like this particular riff has been playing you know for almost like a minute and a half with some of the chorus kind of elements in there and it, it doesn't get old it's just it sounds so good it sounds so addictive you want to bang your head to it and i don't think it's very easy to do that to create something that seems on paper simple and i don't mean that in a negative way like simple but actually quite addictive in nature That double bass, man, he's fucking killing on the drums. Um, I think there's another element I didn't see before. I don't know why I never made this connection. There is a... Um, I don't want to use this word because I think people are going to mis misunderstand what I mean by that. Um, but it has this kind of new sound. I wanted to say new metal, but it's not. it's not new metal. I can't find the right word to it. It just has this sound in the music that gives it a very modern sound. That's what you know some modern metal bands sound like, but they do it so well uh, that, for example, why I say that I am not a big fan of new metal. Uh, I like some metalcore bands. I like some deathcore bands. I typically just don't enjoy. It. Not because they're new. It's just I typically don't enjoy them. But it happens so they're part of the new wave of heavy metal bands that come out in just kind of new genres and i have a feel like it just has this feeling that they pull a little bit from it but at the same time infuse old at the same time infuse these other elements in here which i think they did it in a very calculated manner and absolutely works for the music in every single song that i've heard so far i've actually downloaded their discography uh, and eventually we'll get through the whole thing but i thought it'd be interesting to do like an ep review which you know just came out song that was a kick-ass fucking song oh nice some violin or is there a cello no that's a cello
yeah, I'm really digging those keyboards and um, building on this kind of atmosphere, which I think absolutely enhances the music. That ending, that was fucking kick-ass. Yeah, I I said, you know, the simplicity of their music, but actually this song has quite a lot of changes. So, you know, they're, they're surprising me and everything that I say means kind of shows that I'm still learning what they're all about and how they write their music. But I think it still stands that there's, yeah, this metallic sound to it that I very, very much enjoy. I very much like. There was another band uh, that had this kind of sound back in the 2000s i'm trying to think of um the, the other band i was thinking of i had to look it up really quick was colnish circle uh which i think is a great inspiration or at the very least there's a lot of similarities in the music writing with colnish circle and orbit culture uh colnish circle only had i think two or three albums uh they didn't pick up at the time it was kind of when arch enemy was coming out and all these kind of bands that were making their on a more commercial level and i think colonish circle had more of a niche sound at the time and i think this is a better refined version of it despite how much i love the other band now the second song on this ep was flight of the fireflies i believe and then it's followed by carvings which, well, both of which i really really liked i actually liked uh, the carvings that tribal feel to the song which i think is not going to be repeated uh in this ep from what i understand and it just gave it a very different vibe from all other songs and flight of the fireflies had its own vibe as well but so far i actually have to say the mast of the, the first song that i just heard the mast it was the best one that i heard so far but let's get into the song the strangle oh it's a short song Yeah, it's like uh i actually like his clean vocals i uh, i think he has a, a nice it fits within the realm of the music i i typically anybody who's come to this channel have seen me criticize certain bands because i typically just don't enjoy when they switch from growls to singing because it'll be such a stark difference and one matches the music the other one doesn't i think they flow very nicely from one to the other and i mean it just shows also his talent as a vocalist and I like the beginning of the song. I mean, it's back to the idea of having an addictive rhythm or riff to their music. And I think that's the, the hook. They really hook you in with the music very quickly. Uh, there's some bands that take me time to digest and get into and because they're not as accessible. Uh, for example, for me, that was Death for a very long time. Death wasn't very accessible. But this is quite accessible. Like Bolt Thrower, I got into right away. This, I just kind of got into naturally very, right away as well. This particular song has a very thrashy vibe. I would almost not even call it a, 
a death metal song. It's very thrashy. Um, and like I've, I've done a review slash reaction of the EP for Insomnium, uh, The Argent Moon, and my criticism of that EP not taking their catalog into account. Obviously, I haven't listened to their whole catalog to judge, just as the EP without any backstory, like, uh, you know, whether they wanted to make it more ballad whether they made make it more harsh just that ep it it sounded a little bit one note to me because of the every single song was a slower song more ballad song more emotional song and they were all good songs but there wasn't that stark variety in each song whereas here what i'm enjoying is every single song sounds very very different from one another uh obviously both bands have the pluses and minuses but that's something you're really enjoying about this ep <laughs> You know a breakdown is fucking coming, right? With that kind of a uh, transition, it's gonna just like destroy right now. Let's see. that so i'm sorry i know it's a sin to pause during a solo but i'm gonna rewind it we're gonna start from the beginning i really like this song <laughs> yeah this is like this is a definitely moshing song you gotta fucking destroy the pit uh to this one and which i haven't done for a while i'm i'm really hoping to uh, uh go to one uh, more intimate I, I went to a megadeth concert uh with lamb of god they they toured in um jones beach theater on here in new york and most of the seats there are sitting so i had to sit and kind of relax I would have loved to be down in the pits, uh, just kind of going crazy. Yeah, it would have been really fun. Yeah, I'll say something that might sound wrong to some people, and perhaps I'm wrong. I'm willing to take the criticism from you guys and say that I'm wrong, but it does have like a, a new metal-ish sound to it. Like, um, I'm trying to think of a, a more popular band or something. They just have this kind of sound to it that they are... It looks like they've grown up with a new era of heavy metal, kind of. That's what, that's what it feels like. But they have a respect and appreciation for the old school. And they decided to find a way to blend them two together. And I have zero problems with it. Because I think it's just accessible enough. I think the music is, is addictive. I think the riffs are really fun. I think they are not stuck on one riff like for example the thing of with a lot of new metal was a problem whether it be 
disturbed or god smack they would very get stuck in one riff for too long because they had nothing else really going on within the song but this like it goes places it does different things even if it stays in one riff it'll have interesting transitions or a play on the same riff and the solos will come in just when you needed some variety like i think the songwriting is actually quite strong throughout all the songs so far that i've heard from these guys and then we got one more song coming on and i am really really liking this ep as much as i want to re-listen to it just like right off the bat again uh i'm gonna be kind of putting it on my playlist i think for for the whole week and going crazy until the new cryptos and ministry albums come out on the next friday october 1st well we got the last song on this ep and it's going to be a sailor's tale um so far i mean I, if i'm gonna praise this band anymore you would think i'm getting paid by them to promote them uh, and I haven't done that very much on this channel because there's this songs that I click with and like and praise a lot and some where I always find criticisms. And I'm trying to find a criticism here, to be honest, and I'm just not finding one. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying what it's like. I'm going to be excited to dive into their, I believe they have two albums more because I've heard that in the comments, you guys. Somebody mentioned this, like I listened to the their two albums that they have out. Uh, so I'll be really interested to dive into their discography. Uh, I would love to do more reactions, of course, because I think it's fun seeing a first reaction of somebody enjoying a band that you like. Uh, but anywho, without any more talking, let's kind of slow it down. Let's go to A Sailor's Tale. I think this is a violin. Jack Sparrow's gonna come out of nowhere right now. doing a lot of clean vocals uh on this album and from what i understand that's not typically the the norm for him i rewinded it just a little bit i like the beginning of it having this kind of an epic feel to it and i something i haven't mentioned so far i'm really enjoying the production of this album um it might sound just a little bit overproduced um but it doesn't lose its rawness and its impact in the music there's, there's some bands where you could you could feel that it's just overproduced to like oh, to hell where you you don't feel the soul of me like i can't explain i can't pinpoint that a good example of it was when they did a remaster of rust and peace from megadeth it's like what are you doing you're killing the whole soul and vibe and energy of the music where here is they managed to keep the energy and from what i actually heard live they play really well live as well so that's pretty cool because i did the um, flight of the fireflies reaction and then somebody said you should check it out live and i did i took i checked out the sirius xm i think it was a live performance and was really dope <laughs>
might be the only criticism I'll find so far is I'm not digging that chorus very much. Uh, I like the main riff and the main, uh, just the, the main kind of part of the song, but that chorus line was kind of, I don't know, just don't like it. Anywho, let's get it, let's keep going. <laughs> was a dope ass transition and what they were doing with the drumming and going back and forth oh that sounded so good and let's get to listen to his clean vocals a hundred percent his inspiration for vocals is chuck billy from fucking testament straight up he sounds i'm like who does he sound like he sent, reminds me of somebody and i couldn't put my finger on it especially on that album from testament it's like in the 2000s it was like darkness Shit, I can't remember the album. Yeah, it reminds me of the Gathering album from Testament. Uh, actually, in sound, too. In many ways, it sounds like that album. Uh, and his vocals just, like, remind me of Chuck Billy so much, which is a legendary vocalist. I think it's a good example to pull from. At the same time, kind of putting his own flavor and spin on it. Uh, yeah, I like the majority of the song still. It's just that little nitpick for me, personally, is that the chorus line is just not very fun to listen to but that's not only with this band there's a lot of bands where sometimes you just don't like a certain part of it but it doesn't make the whole song bad <laughs> I think their star for this uh, band is for sure the drummer. Um, you know, the guitarists are solid. The bass player, I'm trying to get a sound of it in the air, like my headphones, but he doesn't stand out as much as I would like him to be. He's a little bit muffled in the background. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those things with bass, like the way to, from what I've heard, like I don't play, I've never played bass. Even then, I'm very, not very good on guitar is this idea that if you don't think about him, he's doing the job correctly. He's like, he's just enhancing the music. If you were to take him out, you would feel it automatically. Um, but definitely the drummer is the star. The riffs are fun, but from the guitar work, it's just very clean, very skillful guitar playing. I would actually like to hear the solo a little bit clearer as well. It almost seems like it's being a little pushed to the back uh, a little too much. But it was because it was a good solo. I think it was a like a fantastic solo. The final consultation of his speech in words The spell of blood and guns is
Let's see how it transitions and changes up. It is quite a long song. Yeah, did a play on the chorus, but with a with a cello. I hope on their other albums, this is a thing that stays throughout that they put into these kind of uh, more orchestral and symphonic elements into their music. Because I think it fits very well. It gives it a certain feeling and, as I said before, atmosphere that I think only enhances their music. Because I think their like instrument playing is good, but it's not... Like, I wouldn't say, oh my god, this is like legendary music playing. I've never heard anything like this in terms of how they play their instruments. Well, they're, they're good musicians, you know, they, they know what they're doing. But, you know, it, it doesn't stand out to the same level, for example, when I listen to Death Symbolic or uh, Spiritual Healing or something like that. Where it's just like every single guitar riff, drum riff, bass riff was just like blowing your mind how good it was. But they have really solid foundation for songwriting, being able to write really catchy, interesting riffs, and have a very nice variety in music in the short span of five songs on the EP. That's what I meant by metallic. It has a metallic industrial sound. So here you go that was the whole ep uh like i said for those who are looking to see reactions for carvings and fly of the fireflies i'll make sure the links are down below but now let's get into the review of it i think it's a very strong ep album uh i liked for the exception of sailor's tale i thought that was the weakest song in the album personally um I would listen to it again, and I'll, I'll keep listening to it, but I really don't like that chorus line. And I believe the song is just a little longer than it needed to be. But it still had interesting riffs and elements and transitions that I think are worth listening to multiple times over. However, all the other songs that were here were just fantastic. I liked, as I mentioned before, I really liked the variety in songwriting. I think every single song has its own thing that can hook you in. I really enjoy how good they are at writing addictive, interesting riffs within a death metal genre, you know, which is, I think is very difficult. I think they even cross the genre sometimes into something that's more industrial or even thrash metal at times and having some symphonic uh, orchestral moments in there. I think they're playing with a lot of different elements that all jive with me very, very well. And I, I hesitated saying it the first time, but I'll say it again. They have this 
new metal ish or new wave of heavy metal ish feel like almost like metal not metal core but uh, you know new metal like with metal core death core uh uh something like i can't say it's the god smack but you can tell they've grown up with the music of the new age and appreciation for all music of the old school and they came up with this just kind of blend of multiple things mashed together which i would think would be very difficult to do and make it sound great but they not only managed to make it sound great it's very cohesive i think uh and this is a very strong showing from what is a pretty young band, right? It's their third piece of work or two albums, I believe, and an EP. Uh, so I think they're on a very strong beginning with a very strong fan base that I think is deserved after what I've listened to here. Uh, I'm actually going to, right after this EP, I was on the fence whether I was going to listen to more or not. But after listening to the EP, I'm, like, I'm going to listen to the whole discography. Now I'm hooked and want to find out what they really got to offer on the other albums i really enjoy the vocalist both doing his growls and his clean vocals which i think fit within the realms of the music they're creating because a lot of times for me when i listen to arch enemy or I'm trying to think of other bands where even in the death metal setting they'll switch to cleaner vocals and it's just so stark and in contrast it's like what that doesn't make any sense how are you combining these two things together i don't like it throw it out of the window right kind of here it just works perfectly i think uh i said this before also in my reaction it's for those just kind of skip to the review uh I, if i praise this band anymore you would think i'm being sponsored by them uh because i think this this is probably one of the best examples i've been shown on this channel thus far along with insomnium along with i'm trying to think there's a couple of other bands you guys introduced me to where I really got hooked on them where most the most time I can appreciate a band that you show me, but I won't necessarily listen to them on my own, like Love Bites or Amorphous or uh, Unleash the Archers. I think I would want to download, but I want to do a couple more reactions. Like Nightwish, I don't think I would listen to on my own, um, but I can appreciate the music and style. And I mean, that's really all I have to say about it. I think it's, it's just, it's 100% worth picking it up uh, and checking out. If you're a fan, I, without even listening to the old albums, I can't imagine how you wouldn't like this. Uh, there's a lot on offer for five songs here, and they have a lot of replay value, I think. That's my opinion, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this reaction slash review. It's something I've been doing more recently because I think it's a cool way to re uh, review new music. And let me know what you, what you think of this format, if you enjoy it, and you're, uh, you know, if you want to see more videos like that. And make sure you have a good day out there. Keep it fucking metal. Have a good one.